this video we're going to talk about the Theme Customizer. And this is a tool that can really help your theme start to look like something you want it to be, rather than what comes out of the box. The Theme Customizer was introduced in WordPress 4.0, so it's been around for a while, but there are still plenty of older themes that don't really leverage it very much. Most modern themes use the Customizer to very good effect. The theme we have here, OS Training Breeze, does a good job of leveraging the Customizer. So let's take a look at what it can do. Here in the admin bar, after you're logged in, you'll see Customize. We'll click that. This opens a bar on the left, and it tells us what theme we're customizing. And there's a little question mark here that tells you some things. It's actually possible to change your theme right from here, but we're not going to do that. Right at the top is Site Identity, and this is pretty common across all themes. Here you can change your site title and your site tagline. And one of the great things about the customizer is that changes happen instantly. So if I put an exclamation point here, you see it over here, right away. And this isn't saved, this isn't live, this is just for you. So you can do all kinds of things to the customizer, and then in the end, just click this X and all of your changes are reverted and no one ever sees them. So in addition to site title and tagline, right here we could set a site icon. And that's the little tiny icon that goes up here in the browser tab. And I don't have one for Wordville, but it works just like any other image. You would simply select an image and upload it. The next option we have here is logo. So I'm going to select an image, upload files, choose this logo. Now you want to be sure, especially on this one, to put in alternate text so that Google and screen readers know the words that should be associated with this site title. There, we now we have a nice big logo. And you could change it or remove it. Next we'll look at theme color. This option is custom to this theme. Not all themes have theme color options. And I really like the colors on this, so I'm not actually going to change them. But you could simply click and choose another color. Let me copy this real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. There. Now these are different. My logo is still blue because it's an image, and the image is actually blue. But as you can see, you can make your theme be kind of any color you want. And then if you don't like them, you can choose Default, and it goes right back to that blue. Now this other color is for menu items, and we haven't done menus yet, so you can't see the difference. But we'll come back to that when we get to menus. Next there's Font, and this theme comes with four different fonts. You can switch to Droid Sans, which is a little narrower than Open Sans. There's Leto which is a little wider, and then there's Ubuntu, which is a little heavier. Some themes come with a hook to Google Fonts, and so there are thousands of fonts available. That may or may not be a good thing. You may not want a ton of fonts. Next is Maximum Width, and right now it's set at 940. You can set this to anything you want, and it's really personal preference. As it gets narrower, this font handles responsive just fine. So, narrowing is easy. The width that you set it to really depends on your personal preference and what it's going to be viewed on. Here we can manage menus, and we're going to do that in another video. And the same goes for widgets. We're going to do that in another video as well. We've already looked at static front page. Here we can choose what's on the home page. Is it a plain page, or is it our blog archive? The last item here is called Additional CSS. And this is new with WordPress 4.7. If you have a browser older than 4.7, you won't see this. It allows you to just simply type in CSS and save it for this theme. And I'm going to actually use it right now because I don't want the word home at the top of my home page and I don't want this line. So I'm going to right click and inspect. And this is called the page header. 
and if we look in the body tag, you'll see that it's home. So we're going to put in dot home dot page header display none. And now it's gone. So now let's save and publish. Now our changes have been made real for the web. One more thing I want to look at, down at the bottom here, you can choose to view this in browser, tablet, or phone. So you can see what it looks like as it gets narrower. Note the size of our logo. It's full size there. On tablet, they actually expand it a little bit and make it a little bit bigger, which makes it a little bit fuzzy. That's something to keep in mind. But on phones, it's perfect. It fills it exactly just right. One more option here is hide controls. That allows you to see your site at full width. So let's go back to browser here and then like this. And to see that in good effect, let's go to maximum width and set it to 1040. Now, because we have this bar here, we don't see it at 1040, but if we hide controls, now we do see it at 1040. So one of the most important lessons I have for you about the customizer is that it's really quite different for every theme. There are a few consistent things like site identity and additional CSS and static front page and menus and widgets, but things like logo and theme color and font and maximum width are custom to this theme and other themes might have many more or none at all. So one of the things to look at when you're choosing a theme is how well it leverages the customizer. What does it provide to you? What does it allow you to change and to make just the way you want?